Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lemuel E. Hernandez, your Pinoy math teacher. Rational functions are functions of the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomials and q of x is not the zero function. Magkakaroon tayo ng restrictions dito para sa values ng x na kayang gawing equal to zero ang ating denominator. Ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay kung paanong makukuha ang domain at range ng ilang rational functions. Ang domain ay set ng lahat ng x coordinates, tinatawag din itong absisa, or kung minsan ay first coordinate. Ang range naman ay set ng lahat ng y coordinates. Tinatawag din itong ordinates or second coordinate. Para sa ating unang example, given ay f of x equals 3 over x plus 2, ang domain ay ang values ng x na hindi kayang gawing 0 ang ating denominator. In this case, that is x plus 2. Para makuha ang domain, iset natin ang denominator natin na x plus 2 not equal to 0. Then solve for x by transposing positive 2 on the right side. We have x not equal to negative 2. Ibig sabihin, ang domain natin gamit ang set builder notation ay x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 2. Or gamit ang interval notation, we have negative infinity to negative 2, union negative 2 to positive infinity. Kuhanin naman natin ang range. Isang paraan para makuha ang range ng hindi gumagamit ng graph or inverse function ay ang pag-solve sa x in terms of y. Replace muna natin ang f of x ng y. Next, mag-multiply tayo ng x plus 2 sa magkabilang side ng equation or simply cross-multiply. So we have y times x plus 2 equals 3. Multiply natin ang y or distribute natin sa x plus 2. So that is xy plus 2y. Dahil x lang ang kailangan natin sa left side, transpose natin yung terms without x sa right side. In this case, that is 2y. So we have xy equals negative 2y plus 3. Para makancel ang y sa left side, mag-divide tayo ng y on both sides giving us x equals negative 2y plus 3 over y. Kapag x na lang ang nasa isang side ng equation, maaari na nating malaman ang range ng rational function. Ito yung values ng y kung saan hindi magiging zero ang denominator at para malaman natin ang restrictions, set natin yung denominator na y not equal to zero. So, ibig sabihin, ang range natin ay y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to zero or negative infinity to 0, union 0, to positive infinity. Next example natin, so f of x equals 5x minus 2 over x minus 7. So, kuhanin muna natin yung domain. Ang first step, set natin yung x minus 7 not equal to 0, then solve for x. So, we have x is not equal to 7. Ibig sabihin, ang domain natin, x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to 7 or from negative infinity to 7, union 7 to positive infinity. Kuhanin naman natin yung range ng same function. So, unang gagawin, replace f of x by y. So we have y equals 5x minus 2 over x minus 7. So next na gagawin tayo ay mag cross multiply. So y times x minus 7 that is equal to 5x 
minus 2. Distribute natin yung y sa x minus 7. So we have xy minus 7y. So that is equal to 5x minus 2. So next move, pagsamasamahin natin yung terms with x at yung terms without x. So ibig sabihin, ililipat natin dito sa left yung 5x at yung negative 7y naman, ililipat natin doon sa right. So xy minus 5x equals 7y minus 2. So, factor out natin yung x dito sa left side. So, we have x times y minus 5. So, divide natin both sides by y minus 5. Okay. So, ginawa natin yan para ma-cancel yung y minus 5 at x na lang yung matira dito sa left. So, we have x equals 7y minus 2 over y minus 5. So, pwede na natin kuhanin yung range. So, set natin yung denominator na y minus 5 not equal to 0. Okay, then solve for y tayo. Transpose natin yung negative 5. So, we have y is not equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang range natin ay y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to 5 or from negative infinity to 5, union 5 to positive infinity. Next example natin, f of x equals x plus 2 over 2x minus 7. So, unahin natin kuhanin yung domain. So, para makuha yung domain, set natin yung denominator na 2x minus 7 not equal to 0. Okay. So, solve for x. Transpose natin yung negative 7 sa right side. So, we have 2x is not equal to 7. Then, divide natin both sides by 2. Okay. So, we have x is not equal to 7 over 2. Ibig sabihin, ang domain natin ay x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to 7 over 2. Or, from negative infinity to 7 over 2, union 7 over 2 to positive infinity. Kuhanin naman natin yung range. Para makuha ang range, ang gagawin lang ay replace muna natin yung f of x ng y. So we have y equals x plus 2 over 2x minus 7. Then tayo ay mag cross multiply. So we have y times 2x minus 7 equals x plus 2. Next, Distribute natin yung y sa 2x minus 7. So, we have 2xy minus 7y. Next, pagsamasamahin natin yung terms with x at yung terms without x. So, ibig sabihin, ililipat natin dito sa left side yung x. Tapos, yung negative 7y, ililipat natin doon sa right. Okay, so, 2xy minus x equals 7y plus 2. Okay, factor out natin yung x dito sa left side. So, we have x times 2y minus 1. So, that is equal to 7y plus 2. Next, divide natin both sides by 2y minus 1 para maiwanan yung x dito sa left side. Ayan. Okay, so, x equals 7y plus 2 over 2y minus 1. So, makukuha na natin yung range nito. So, set natin yung 2y minus 1 not equal to 0. Okay, solve for y. Transpose muna natin yung negative 1 sa kabilang side. So, 2y not equal to 1. Okay, divide natin both sides by 2. Okay, so y is not equal to 1 half. So, ang range natin, y is an element of real number such that y is not equal to 1 half or from negative infinity to 1 half union 1 half to positive infinity. Okay, last example natin. So, we have f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. So, kuhanin muna natin yung domain. So, set natin yung denominator na x squared minus 9 not equal to 0. Okay, so, 
pwede tayong mag-transpose ng negative 9 doon sa kabila tapos kuha rin natin yung square root ng magkabilang side or pwede naman tayo dito mag-factor. So, x squared minus 9, yan ay katumbas din ng x plus 3 times x minus 3. So, set natin both factors not equal to 0. So, we have x plus 3 is not equal to 0 and x minus 3 not equal to 0. Okay, so solve natin for x. So, dito muna tayo sa x plus 3. So, transpose natin 3 sa kabilang side. So, we have x is not equal to negative 3. Next, yung negative 3, lipat naman natin doon sa kabilang side. So, we have x is not equal to positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating domain, x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to plus or minus 3. Or, from negative infinity to negative 3, union negative 3 to positive 3, union 3 to positive infinity. Kuhanin naman natin yung range ng given function. So, unang gagawin, replace f of x by y. Okay, so, check natin kung merong factors yung numerator and denominator. So, ito ay para malaman natin kung meron bang pwedeng ma-cancel. So, para maging mas madali yung pag-solve natin sa x. Okay, para sa numerator, so, ang factors niyan ay x plus 3 and x plus 1. Ang denominator naman, ang factors niyan ay x plus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, merong pwedeng ma-cancel. So, that is x plus 3. Okay, ang matitira na lang, y equals x plus 1 over x minus 3. So, mag-cross multiply na tayo. So, y times x minus 3 equals x plus 1. Next, distribute natin yung y sa x minus 3. So, we have xy minus 3y. Okay, lipat natin yung x dito sa left and then yung negative 3y naman ililipat natin doon sa right. Okay, so we have xy minus x equals 3y plus 1. So, factor out natin yung x dito sa left. So, we have x times y minus 1. So, that is equal to 3y plus 1. So, divide natin both sides by y minus 1. Okay. So, x now equals 3y plus 1 over y minus 1. So, pwede na natin kuhanin yung range. So, set natin yung denominator na y minus 1 not equal to 0. Okay, so transpose natin yung negative 1. So, we have y is not equal to 1. Kasabay ng pag-cancel natin sa common factor na x plus 3, ay ang pagkakaroon ng bagong restriction sa range bukod sa positive 1. Kung mapapansin ninyo ay hindi na magiging undefined yung ating function, kapag isinabstitute natin yung isang restriction sa domain, na negative 3. Hindi ba't kaya natin sinabing x is not equal to positive or negative 3 ay dahil magiging 0 ang ating denominator kapag sinabstitute natin siya sa x ng ating function. Ang dapat na mangyari ay hindi masama sa ating range at x equals negative 3. Sa so, iset natin yung y not equal to the function x plus 1 over x minus 3 and solve natin at x equals negative 3 para makuha yung another restriction. So, we have y is not equal to negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 minus 3. So, y is not equal to negative 2 over negative 6 or y is not equal to 1 over 3. So, that is in lowest term. So, ibig sabihin, ang range natin ay y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to 1 and y is not equal to 1 third. Or, from negative infinity to 1 third, union 1 third to 1, union 1 to positive infinity.